Today, a significant portion of the world's electronics is tested with NI technology. And one of the most exciting new areas in consumer electronics is 3D video. To tell us more about how NI is helping overcome the challenges of testing 3D video, please welcome Berger Schneider and Reggie Rector. Yeah. Morning, guys. Yeah. 3D video is redefining the way we enjoy movies in the theaters and in our homes. Just like digital HDTV gave us higher resolution and faster frame rates, 3D video is now the next big uh, leap in video technology. So, Berger, can you tell us a little, though, about how does 3D video work? Well, in the theaters, they use uh, passive uh, uh, glasses uh, with polarized uh, glasses, uh, and they are low cost. But in the video area, the most common and the most successful implementation is using active uh, shutter glasses like these. Uh, the, this will give uh, better uh, viewing performance to the viewers. Uh, the image seen by the right eye is pixel shifted with respect to the image seen by the left eye, and uh, depending on the depth of the actual image being filmed. The active shutter glasses uh, uh, will be tightly synchronized to the frame update of the HDTV, giving appearance of 3D objects as the, uh, uh, the lenses of the glasses are, are changing at uh, 24 times or 60 times per second. Now, because this is such a new and complex technology, there's no precedent and no test solutions available for 3D video until now. We worked with leading consumer electronics companies to create the first ever 3D video analyzer based on PXI and VideoMaster. In this demo here, we're testing one of the latest Blu-ray players to analyze its, vid its 3D video quality. Now, John, while you're getting your glasses set up, I'm going to quickly acquire a 3D frame from the movie being generated on our player. For those in the audience, you can see both the left and right image that were acquired by the VideoMaster software. If we were to analyze the waveforms of these two images, we could actually see the pixel shifting going on between the left and the right image. What do you think, John? You see those 3D objects? This is cool. Now, all I need is a recliner. And could we pull up that ESPN 3D? Uh, sorry, John, no recliners on stage today. And this fall when Nebraska beats Texas, you're not going to see that in 3D either. <laughs> <laughs> That's coming from a guy who's standing on a platform back there. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably go back and forth all day, but in the interest of time, we'll move on with the, the test sequence here. So if in my test sequence, I wrote, we have a series of tests that we can measure various parameters of the 3D video frame. We can analyze the 3D line timing, the image noise levels, color levels, and over 250 other complex video measurements, all in about one second. Well, that sounds like some impressive performance. So we're testing this uh, 3D Blu-ray player, but what about testing this uh, 3D TV that I plan on taking home with me after the keynote? Well, John, HDTVs have the most complex uh, signal processing found in consumer devices today. Um, including the 3D video and 240 hertz frame updates. Soon you'll be even able to see 4K by 2K resolution, which is four times the resolution of today's uh, uh, 1080p uh, video. However, as a consumer, all that we care about is how good it looks on the display. And to test video, uh, uh, to test display video signal quality, uh, NI Alliance partner Alformation created their Flex Media solution, which is based on the NI Flex Real platform. So here in this demo, we have a set of HD TVs that we're going to test using the VA01 analyzer from Alformation. Berger, if I could get you to power on each of these TVs, we'll go ahead and start up our tests. Now, by generating high definition video into the component analog or HDMI interfaces, we can calculate the bit error rate or pixel error rate on the LVDS lines that drive the pixels on the display. In this demo, we're analyzing every pixel of every frame at full high definition video on four HDTVs in parallel, all on a single VA01 analyzer. All in all, it's about 25 gigabit per second that we're analyzing on the FlexRio FPGA. That's about 1,000 iTunes songs per second. All right, well, that's some very impressive performance. 
Guys, thank you for introducing uh, the challenges or how we're overcoming the challenges of 3D video tests. Thanks, Burger. Thanks, You're Reggie. Welcome.